Well, I wish I had something more exciting to give you guys, but honesty, honestly, this is a slow week. I had a re-gear. I was so excited because uh, I was going to record it all. And it got rescheduled. So that's about 17 hours out of my scheduled work week gone. And I'm just kind of like, put some. Yeah. Thank you. You are my everything. You are my rock. Okay, Pablo, can you film and hold? No. Actually, just hand me. Tighten is loosen. Tighten is loosen. I do need to rebuild the rear end on this. Uh, it was re-geared by another shop, um, but the uh, it's botched. So the the pinion skipping on the rear gears. That's that's fun. It's so much fun. But just like everything else, thanks to COVID, uh, we're we're waiting on parts. It's never been so hard to just get parts. It's it's insane. Blows my mind. I know I say blows my mind a lot, but you know what? It blows my mind that it blows my mind, that it blows my mind. We're gonna forget this conversation ever happened. Electric fan on the, is that an electric mm -hmm. fan for the transmission? Mm -hmm. Or just an extra? Electric fan. Oh, interesting. Those are trans. Right. That guy, right there. Hmm. It's actually the next day. Why is it the next day? Because it's the next day. Yeah, I was looking usually how that works. It, it's how it works. It's because I didn't have much to do yesterday. There's not much to cover at all. It's mainly this guy's fault right here. I gotta blame somebody. He's gonna be the fall guy. <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned today is don't blame that guy. Why does everybody resort to violence? But I am working on the Chevy swapped 80 series. I got the shifter linkage put back in because the shifter from low car that I want to put in this truck is on back order, just like everything else. But on other things, I can get it running and driving for now because I, I need to start testing out the transmission because I don't think it's, it's doing the torque converter lockout on it. Pretty much the first thing I need to do to this is get the exhaust back on it. We got the transfer cases already filled, so that's pretty much what's left for now. And then we can bring it down, bleed out the power steering, connect the, the pitman arm, and uh, back it up, and then let's take the throttle pedal off. So, montage?
now that I got that all put back together, I need to go ahead and fill up the power steering fluid. Uh, we use just regular ATF Dexon 3. It's what the those pumps usually like to run. And then I'm gonna turn the wheel side to side, turn the engine on and off, and let it kind of bleed out uh, to get all that fluid into the gearbox. Alrighty, so now that this thing is off the lift, I can go ahead and we need to get the throttle pedal out. And, and I'll show you why, because this is a big problem we have with this truck at this current moment. So this throttle pedal is from the GM 2500, and this is the standard Toyota brake pedal right here. When I originally built this truck, and because the LQ4 is drive-by wire, I couldn't use the original Toyota throttle pedal. And so what I did is I made a adapter bracket to bolt this pedal to the firewall over here that allows it to do throttle things. Hooray! But the problem is, and I will show you, is if I go to brake, it's no big deal. If I put my foot here just a little bit as I'm hitting the brake, I am also hitting the throttle pedal. And by design, the throttle pedal is usually this far lower to avoid this problem. It was a hindsight that I didn't really pay attention to when I originally built this truck. So yeah, I make mistakes, but we're going to fix it and take care of it. And by that, I am going to go ahead and pull this throttle pedal out and we're going to cut it, re-angle it, and then weld it back together. And then that should solve that. Okay, so I got to thinking about it and what I am going to do um, Yeah, so I got to thinking about what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut away about that much from this guy and then that should get me where I need to be and I'm gonna cut it at an angle too. So let's cut this real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and mounted the throttle pedal back in the truck. So it's right here, but I cut the, the foot off for now. And then we got the throttle pedal right here. And I did a little rough estimation here. And this is probably where I'm gonna be happiest with it right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this with a marker. I'm try to do this without knocking over the camera. There's no ink in this. Turn it around. Okay. Let's try this again. So yeah, I like it right, right about here. I think that's good right there. So we're gonna go ahead and mark that. And now we're gonna go ahead and pull this back out. Very easy. Just gotta move this carpet out of the way. And then there's two 10 millimeters. Come over here. And then you over here. And we yank this guy out. All right, so it's welded together. It's not the prettiest welds. I got to, I got to measuring, and then I test fitted it, and I was like, "Oh, this is perfect." So I tack welded, and I was like, "Cool, this works just fine." And uh, before I knew it, I was welding it all together, trimming it out, and then painting it, and I didn't record it. So, nada, nada. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, it's like past six, like we, we closed like over half an hour ago and I got to hurry up and get this done so I can go home and see the wife and the kiddos. So I'm just kind of hauling uh, applesauce. No, sorry. I'm just hauling. I'm hauling butt. I'm trying to get done. 
And I realize I'm just ranting right now, but it is what I do. Come on, get in there. There you go. There you go. Cool. All right, one more bolt. You go down here. Just like that. Hey, it's easier if I, yeah, it's easier if I reach it with this hand. All right, cool. Let's uh, grab the gun. Get this, because this is adjustable. This bracket up here is adjustable. It's how I designed it. That's where I like it. We're installed. I'm gonna go ahead and push this carpet into place. Connect the throttle by wire. Maybe. All right. Oh, look at that. That's spaced out a lot better. Let's, uh, let's leave that in there, shall we? Okay. Let's put the tool over here. And grab the camera. And I'm running out of battery, so I gotta be quick. But yeah, full brake depressed. And if I put my foot over here and I hit the brake, I am not touching the throttle pedal. So that that is a uh, that's an improvement. So cool. All right, you might notice I'm on my phone right now. Uh, this guy here ran out of battery, so I uh, I had to resort to my cell phone and to finish out this video. But as far as that goes, the, the 80 series is pretty much set up. I'm really happy with it where it's at right now. We gotta shim the transfer case one more time. Uh, it's got a little bit of a hum and that, that's, just, that's just shimming. So, <sighs> but it's almost seven. Uh, it's time to go home. Bella, Bella is pretty much ready to go. She's, she's tired, I'm tired. Uh, we got a big project next week. I'll be covering that the whole entire week. So hopefully a lot of footage for you guys on that. So that'd be great. And other than that, um, I got to pull the computer off of the 80 for now. And once it's, uh, and ship it out because the 7 GM ECUs don't have uh, electronic fan controller drivers in them, turns out. So that's why the, I had to hardwire those fans. I'm just rambling. I'm, I'm going home. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you haven't, subscribe and YouTube stuff. It is what it is.